So, uh, it's the first week of June, and there's no update yet. And when I mean update, I mean playable update. When they delayed the update, they said that it was supposed to come the first week of June, and we're already three days in, so, uh, where is it at? They ended up dropping a bunch of mini dev updates, and I guess I'll just get into that today, just to see what it says. There's no real indication of a delay just yet, but it might as well be, because we're literally three days into the first week of June, and we have yet to see the that juicy juicy update that they keep talking about I feel like i should be surprised by this point but i'm really not like i'm just kind of like you know same song and dance so i guess we'll just get into these mini dev updates just to see what they say see what's going on and that's pretty much going to be the video i guess let's get into it As I was recording this video, Ellie dropped a message in chat saying, please don't kill me. Uh, so we decided it needed some last minute additions to make it even better. I know it sucks and I'm truly sorry. We're looking at releasing a devlog tomorrow, most likely on the Void YouTube channel as unlisted. Oh my God. Why do you do this to yourself, Void? Like there's no reason to put out dates if you know you're not gonna freaking hit them. Like you're just pissing people off at this point. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I really hope that this update is going to be worth it, because if it isn't, I'm going to go fucking ballistic. So this mini dev update was brought to us by someone different that I don't usually see that often. I believe the name is Raiku? Or Reihaku? Not too sure. I believe this person is also a part of the community manager team, but I could be wrong. But they have a message here. Hey fellas, we've been pretty busy making this update really expansive. Lots of iterations and reiterations there and here. But I want to show you and talk about some of the cooler stuff that we have implemented. In this next update, some suspects will don body armor. And there are various types of armor they can wear. From soft armor to ceramic plates to go against them, you will be able to choose between two ammunition types for your weapon and swap between them on the fly. Both of them fall into two categories, armor piercing and hollow point. Your effectiveness against these suspects will depend on the ammunition you choose to shoot them with and some ammo. Even AP can only defeat up to a certain armor level before they are stopped completely, such as a pistol caliber and buckshot. Enemy armor will decrease in effectiveness and eventually break much like yours can. You can shoot them in areas unprotected by armor if you are using hollow points. This is a showcase of our newest ammo system and I chose the most interesting and complex one, the shotgun. Instead of AP and HP, shotguns will use buckshots and slugs. You can divide your ammo pool between these two types. The game will track what shells are loaded in the magazine tube and what is loaded in the chamber. The magazine tube works in a last in first out basis, so the most recently loaded shell will be the one that's going to be fed into the chamber. It also does not discard the buckshot slug that still remained in the chamber. Not really a big deal. Credit to our amazing programmers though. Just something to keep in mind when you get your hands on these. Okay. Oh, so they brought AP back? Nice. Although I wonder what they're going to do with the FMJ or if they're actually going to bring it back at all. But anyways, so they actually have a video here. This one is called Slugs to Buckshot. Let's take a gander. Well, the first thing that I want to say about this is that I believe this is the new shotgun, the B1301. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but uh, yeah, underneath here it shows the buck and slug and you can switch to it, but I'm not entirely sure how. Pretty interesting though. Somebody in the chat says, what happens if you carry two different ammo types? How do you switch them? Rehaku responds, the way that you switch is by double tapping the primary equip button to switch them. Playing a reload animation that swaps between the two. Okay, cool. Somebody was asking, if you swap ammo types on on the fly for rifles and pistols, do they eject the round in the chamber? And Hunter replied with, nah, the round in the chamber is tracked and will still be whatever you switched away from. Okay, cool. Moving on to the next thing here. Underneath this video it says, instead of being restricted to one type of grenades, you will also be capable of alternating between grenade types. Okay, I think that was something that they had back in the multiplayer, right? Where you were able to actually carry more than just one grenade type. 
Let's take a look at this. It says uh, we can actually have multiple types of magazines, I'm assuming. Yeah, see, if you could just barely see, it's kind of cut off there. There's a number four, so we could have like two different AP and two JHP. So I'm assuming we can alternate between mags, right? And bullets. That's going to be interesting to try and figure out how to do. But that's kind of cool that we can actually get more grenades. Thank God, because I end up running out like after every four doors. I mean, not having enough freaking grenades is just like, God damn it, man. And now they have deployables now, I guess. We got lockpick gun, which is interesting. I like how they actually show the grenades down here now. Load out CS gas and stinger grenade. Neato. I like the new UI. It actually looks a lot better. But uh, yeah, moving on from that, you are also able to swap out slots in your inventory. So if you want to carry both door wedge and lockpick gun, for example, you can swap out a pouch for a grenade or a magazine to make space for that ammunition trade-off for the sake of more flexibility if you wish. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder, uh, does that actually affect the character model at all, I wonder? Because that would be cool to see your character model with a bunch of different pouches and stuff. But anyways, looking back at this uh, picture here, so we've got body armor Kevlar, body armor medium armor, munition slots, primary ammunition for primary sidearm ammunition, grenade, tactical. Okay, cool. I'm assuming you could only get up to 13 slots. Let's see, add that up together. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Or maybe that's just how many slots you have on right now. I wonder how much you could add up to. How flexible can you really get with that? I also want to point out that I saw a message in chat by Hunter that actually showed off another version of this. It had the slug and the JHP for the shotgun. And he had 13 times lockpick guns. Like, why? Why so many? Zero grenades. Interesting. Very, very informative, Mr. Hunter. But uh, back to the newsletter. or I mean, not new newsletter, but dev update. On to the last thing here. Some suspects will go down from non-fatal shots now. And there is a possibility for them to get back up again to pick up their weapon and attack you if you're not careful. To counter this, we are giving the players and SWAT AI the capability to restrain suspect civilians who are downed. Doing this will not increase your score and it is not mandatory for the mission completion. It is only for restraining any NPC you deem suspicious and want to be completely secured. And they have a video here called Cuffing Down Suspects. Nice. Let's take a look here. Suspect DOA. Talk to entry team. Talk copies all. I foresee myself using this on the regular because I don't trust anybody. So I'm just going to cuff them all. Also, I like the new club. Looks pretty nice. Very neon. I'm not really sure what part of the club he's actually in. It kind of looks like the backside a little bit, but it looks like there's actually like a downstairs. Or maybe this is like where that pool area is from the back. Can't really say for sure. It's so damn different. I can't tell where this is. But yeah, that pretty much does it for his update. Um, but to extend the video, I am going to talk about something that happened not too long ago. A few days ago our grunter actually posted some of his updates and its further improvements art and design to their existing levels that will be included in the update as well and they're mostly talking about gas station in this they've got like a before and after of most of these pictures here on the top i believe is the before and the bottom is the after so this is like the back side of gas station here which if you don't know gas station is like a combination between a gas station and a diner which seems pretty odd to me but whatever and honestly the most different thing about this is just kind of like the placement of the cars and the background here it kind of looks like it's more like dawn instead of just like midnight you know and i think they said that the reason why they did this was because they just didn't have anything in the background there like it was literally just nothing there it was only just an effect just to cover up the fact that there's nothing there but yeah i gotta be honest i'm still not a fan of uh gas station it's probably like my least like map but hopefully with this update they actually make it better i still prefer the old gas station so far or at least until they change it up then we'll have to see what the new one looks looks like but they have another picture here of the before and after very front of the gas station the before and after top here is obviously pretty empty compared to the bottom one honestly uh, again i'm not a fan of the one that we currently have but this one actually looks like it's actually gotten a lot more polish to it obviously from what i understand the way that they were trying to go with the gas stations they said that it wasn't working out for them or something i wasn't sure what they said in that conversation but they ended up switching it up so that it actually looks a little more realistic more gritty and honestly i think that's probably the best choice even though i kind of still dislike the proportions of the gas station like i still prefer the older version to this one but we'll definitely see if this one is better whenever the update decides to drop but anyways pretty curious 
to see what it looks like on the inside because on the inside of the current one it's like really big and empty and to me gas stations that i've always been to have never been like ridiculously huge like this they've only ever been maybe pretty much the same size as the older gas station that i keep talking about but the bottom version definitely looks more lived in if you could call it that it's dead body there with a truck on the left side that looks like it was getting unloaded before everything happened or went down i think i just overall like the look of the gas station but my only biggest issue with it is that it just still feels too damn big but yeah it looks pretty good can't wait to try it out whenever that'll be another picture that was posted here it looks like they kind of flip the sign around here it's kind of like twisted a little more and a bunch of cars that are actually kind of like using the gas station there and there's a bunch of like messed up freaking stuff here and there a bunch of cop cars hey i actually see a bunch of cop cars over there too i wonder if they extended the level i feel like we're going to be able to like walk around towards the cop cars we're going to be able to get into the next freaking building that's there too that'd be kind of cool i doubt it but uh, you never know but it's definitely cool moving on to the last thing here it says penthouse exteriors as well they have a video here that doesn't really have a name so i guess i'll just let it play So like every window is I guess going to have something that's outside of it I'm assuming and that's kind of cool but that pretty much does it for this video it was just mostly mini updates mini dev updates and uh yeah what are your guys' thoughts do you guys think that this update is actually going to come out in June or are you kind of thinking that they're probably going to delay it let me know what you think down below because I'm going to get the hell up out of here go eat some breakfast or something okay well I'm going to end the video if you enjoy the fact that I cover games like right or not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye